Hi, welcome to our walkthrough of Reading Robot, an active reading strategy app, and one of the prototypes we cooked up in our second design cycle. Literacy is a perennial big issue. Looking around, we saw that most existing solutions were usually geared at younger kids, focused on grammar, rewarding, speed, and completion, and were usually less targeted on a key underlying problem, active reading. The problem is the kids who sit there and look like they're reading, but aren't actually understanding. We started thinking about the difference between what does it mean to read, or say the words on the page, and what does it mean to actually read. We wanted to target active reading strategies, the strategies that may seem intuitive to good readers who automatically engage in that internal dialogue as they're reading, such as predicting, visualizing, inferring, and questioning. We were also wondering if there could be a way to have more comprehensive strategies as opposed to isolated strategies in teaching of skills one by one. Since consistent one-on-one -on -one conferencing with a reader is rarely possible, the average teacher has 25 to 30 students at a wide range of ability, we wondered if a digital character could simulate aspects of the educator-learner or peer mentor experience. Thus came Reading Robot. Basically, the idea was to somehow use a digital agent to help a reader as they were engaging with a specific passage. What if learners had a friend who could listen as they read and ask them questions to encourage active reading? So you can click on the app, which starts by asking you to log in. Once you do, you can see all the books that are available. When you select a book, the reading experience begins. The first feature we baked in was this idea of an avatar. We designed a robot that would prompt the reader as they read with questions. I don't know about you, but sometimes I think nonfiction can be boring. Maybe this one will be good. You can use the next button below to turn the page. So here I can click on these robot icons and robot will speak to me. That's pretty cool. The endeavor was special for a lot of reasons. Why do you think it was special? We used text-to-speech so he could come alive. The idea is that he could have a sense of humor and relate to the reader as a peer. The voice, as well as robot's degree of responsiveness, were added and partly tweaked based on feedback from youth. Yeah, I think so, because like it asks his questions to so sort of like reassure us about what we just read. I like that we got to read it and at parts it would stop us and ask us questions and that really helped us think about what we read. So my favorite part was like, because um, there's like a people, um, but usually we read by ourselves, but there was like a monster, so we can communicate, it looks like if there's two people like reading the same story and also it gives you like feedback and ask a question to see whether you understand the question or not. The second feature we added was multimodal prompts. The app supports voice recording, allows for open text entry, and can support multiple choice. Another feature we put in was allowing for branching questions where reader response choices could be used to sense where the person is struggling and scaffold differentiated questions to guide the reader. Here you see Robot is trying to get a sense of whether the reader needs help or not. Mace parents sound cool. Can you figure out how Mace parents influenced her? I wasn't sure at first either, so I went back and read this paragraph and tried to find where it talked about Mace parents. Can you figure out how Mace parents influenced her? Rather than a typical teacher, we designed Robot to be like a supportive peer. Thank you, my best friend ever. <laughs> <laughs> because, because. Like, I could text back to him, like, if I'm not on my phone at school, I'd be like, mm, mm, and he'd be texting me back. So, like, we, we talking to each other, even though I'm not on my phone. He could be my BCF. Yes. Best computer friend. <laughs> there are many potential future avenues. All the responses currently go into a data repository that could be made available to readers themselves, as well as any educators or parents, by displaying that data in intuitive and meaningful ways. Another high-impact avenue would be creating an open-source authoring tool that could empower educators to add other ebook passages and prompts to their own texts to share. So, thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about Reading Robot, please drop us an email. You could also like the lab on Facebook or follow us on Twitter to stay up-to-date on what we're doing with Reading Robot and our other projects.